Okay, so this was a requested video and that is input and output patching on the console of an AVIO. So I'm gonna show you that now. Remember to like and subscribe. Okay, so this was a requested video and this was simply how to mount an AVIO on the desk from the desk. So we're gonna do that from scratch. Set up, Dante set up, and I'm going to mount the last AVIO I haven't, which is solely four, but it'll probably say like AVIO or something like that. Like this is solely AVIO. This is my friend Will Sully's, so he labeled all of his these, and they do take a minute to mount, so don't expect it to be an instant thing. Especially if they're DHCP, and if you need to know like DHCP network settings and things like that with mounting it, please check out my other video that I have on the network settings for the AVIOs, which is a, I never realized how controversial of a topic it is where people will argue over DHCP and static all day long. In this case, it's DHCP, so it took a little longer to connect, but that's fine, works just the same. Now we are going to patch these. So IO device, Dante input patch, and I'm going to use, there's four of them. So one, two, three, four, add two channels per two, four, six, eight. That one's number four. So I'm going to land it here, but uh, let's do all four just so you can see. And there's number one left, right. There's number two left, right. Number three, left, right, and number four, left, right. If you see it's solely one, uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and then I can patch those onto a channel. So graphics one is going to be AVIO one, left, AVIO right, so that's left and right, left and right. And I'm gonna repeat that for all of them. So graphics two is now going to be there. And graphics right will be Dante 32, so I can left, right, left, right. So AVIO one left, AVIO one right, AVIO two left, AVIO three right, and that's my graphics one and graphics two now. And that is AVIO input patching. Okay, so now we are going to do Dante AVIO output, output patching from the console uh, to something else. And this was a, another request. So if you see, uh, my AVIOs are mounted, but if I go into IO, it shows them as unsupported devices. So I can't tap that and I can't assign an output there. And it's really easy. It could easily get missed. All it is is in the Dante patch. If you actually tap the item, you now can patch here. So if I wanted to patch output 16 to that AVIO 2x2 two two USB, I can do it right here. In which case, MIG-16 is now being sent out of that USB AVIO, and it's the second output, which traditionally would be stereo left and right. And that's how you patch the outputs of the AVIO on the console. And if I did that again, so 16 there is there. And I can go to MIG-16 and shows it as solely right which is that AVIO. Remember to like and subscribe.